Hi everyone, today I want to talk about using worksheets as filters. So here we have a visual that shows the sum of profits by product subcategory. The larger or darker blue colored circles represent the subcategories with higher levels of profit. Okay, so here we have another visual, which is a bar chart view of profits by customer. So one cool thing we can do in Tableau, basically, is using worksheets as filters for other worksheets. So let me show you how you can do this. Let's say we want to use uh, the profit by sub product subcategory as a filter for customer profit details. One quick way you can do it is you can do a drop down and just say use as filter and we're done. Let's say we want to see the customers for tables or binders and binder accessories or telephones and communications. As you can see the data on the right hand changes as I click various circles or product subcategories. And if you want to just see all of them again you just click out. So um, another way we can do this is let me just undo this and uncheck the use as filter. One other way we can do it is if we go into the worksheet we can basically use worksheet actions and use them as filters. So this is really good for customization where you have let's say four different charts in a dashboard and you only want to apply filters um, to one or two of the dashboards. So let me quickly show you how that would work. So you go up to worksheet you click and you select actions. Now you need to, you see that we have no actions here. We add an action. You can do a filter, highlight, or URL. Today I'll just talk about the filter. And here you have various options. So for beginners, we need a source sheet. So we're thinking to use the profit by product subcategory as the source. We can change the name here. We can call it filter one product or something, you can call it anything you want. Now you can run actions on either hover, which is where you rest the pointer over a mark in the view to run the action. And this option works well for highlight and filter actions within a dashboard. You can use select where you click on a mark just like we did in the example um, in order to run the action. This really works for all types of actions. And you can also do menu which when you right click and select the mark in a view and then select an option on a context menu. So this option actually works well for either filters or URL actions. So let's leave it on select. And now you specify what to do when, um, when the select is cleared of the view. So when we had the select v um, cleared, we left it at show all values. You can also exclude values or leave the filter. So that's that's a preference. And a target sheet, we're going to use the customer profit details as the target sheet. And we want all fields and we're going to say OK. And we're going to say OK. So now let's go ahead back in our worksheet and try it again. Office furnishings, binders and actions. So here we go, we're able to filter again. Um, Thank you for watching and please subscribe to the channel for additional videos and tutorials.